Hello friends and welcome to Looking at the Markets with David Modell. Going to go over a really simple pattern here. It's called the Megaphone pattern, also sometimes called the Broadening Top, and occasionally it's also called the Broadening Bottom. Uh, so what you want to look for is a series of higher highs and lower lows. Now this pattern indicates an increase in volatility. So therefore, it could be a good time to put on an iron condor because you've got, again, higher highs, lower lows, and so you've got volatility increasing in both directions, the upside and the downside. And that could be a good time to put on an iron condor to capitalize on the increase in volatility. Also, remember it's also called a broadening top or sometimes a broadening bottom, but you don't know or it's hard to know whether it's bullish or bearish until it breaks out to the upside which would be bullish or breaks down to the downside which would be bearish so whether it's really a broad it ends up being a broadening top or a broadening bottom it's kind of hard to know that until it either breaks out or breaks down and by the way, uh, throughout this video, I just want you to know that uh, if you need more help, you can email me anytime. Uh, my email address is davidmodell at gmail.com. I do coach people and I help people put together trading and investing plans. So feel free to email me if you want some help with that. All right, let's look at some examples. All right, well, first, uh, before we look at an example, these are the patterns and these are megaphone patterns. They kind of look like a megaphone, okay? We talked about... Uh, lower lows okay so lower lows right and then higher highs and again whether it's bullish or bearish whether it ends up being a broadening bottom or top it's hard to know until it actually breaks out or breaks down all right uh, but I will say that most people would consider it bullish if it escapes from the megaphone to the upside if there's a clear break if one of the candles breaks and better yet closes if the candle closes clearly above the top of the megaphone okay that could be considered bullish a lot of people would and it could be considered a bottom because you finally hit the bottom and then started turning up and on the other hand if it breaks down meaning it breaks out to the downside Better yet, if the candlestick closes clearly below the bottom of the megaphone pattern, that could be considered bearish and it could be considered a top. So it would be a broadening top because it reached the top and then started turning around and going down. But again, it's hard to know until it actually really breaks out from the top or bottom here. And I'll show you what I mean. Here's an example of it. Uh, this is from tradingview.com. I like their charts and you can see the action here you can see how it's bouncing between you know the the lower lows you got your higher highs and notice it's not perfectly clean like it's it almost never looks like a textbook does it doesn't look like the textbook examples all right it's always a little sloppier looking in real life and so you have to apply some interpretation to it sometimes but you can see it bouncing off the uh, the bottom and the top bouncing bouncing and here it looked like it was going to possibly break out but that was a head fake as they say or at least a false breakout not really a breakout all right and so you keep going and then here it clearly closed above the top of the megaphone above this uh, resistance line here all right uh, so that that's what and and it's also it also helps if it's a green candle and it's a that's a pretty sizable green candle there so it really closed well above the uh, resistance line here the top of the megaphone and so that's pretty bullish a lot of people would say all right uh, and so that turned out to be a broadening bottom according to the chart here okay so again check these out megaphone patterns broadening top, broadening bottom, increase in volatility. You might want to consider an iron condor putting, putting one on there to benefit from the increase in volatility. Look for those higher highs and lower lows 
and check for the breakout or breakdown to decide or help you decide whether it's bullish or bearish. If you need more help, my name is David Modell. You can email me. I can help you to put together a trading plan or investing plan. All right. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube. I appreciate that. Leave a comment. Does this work for you? Do you like this pattern? Do you not like it? Let me know. I like the feedback. I appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hey, what are you waiting for? Come on, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell on YouTube so you can continue to receive updates whenever I put out videos like this. Hey, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you again soon.